James Ward Prowse is a here we go. Wait, wait, I'm not done. Morato is a here we go. Welcome to your Breaking Forest News. Good morning, good evening, or good night. Hope you guys are doing well, and welcome to your latest Breaking Forest news. And I can tell you, there's going to be a crap load going on today. So make sure, as always, one, you've hit the like button. Two, obviously you're subscribed. But three, notifications. That thing there, that bell sign, you need it on. As soon as something happens, we'll break it to you. And there's already been a lot going on at Forest. So before we get into it, quick reminder, if you have Netflix, you need a VPN and we can get you not only four extra months free, but over 80% off the cost of it with Surfshark. So if you've got Netflix, you're in the UK, you're in Europe, wherever you may be, if you use a VPN, you can change your country to America and unlock the beautiful world of the box sets that the Americans get and the movies they get. Go check it out. Surfshark is pinned in the comments or scan this QR code. Okay, let's get into this and let's start with Ward Prowse. So Ward Prowse is a here we go. According to Romano, I think Ornstein's done it as well. And this is a deal obviously from West Ham to Forest, but it's a loan deal with no obligation to buy Nothing like that. And if this was a permanent deal, I'd probably be kicking off right now because he's getting on in years. I don't know where he fits in exactly in the team, but as a loan deal, I absolutely love this. We need a free kick taker. We ain't had a free kick taker since God knows who. McGugan, Reed, Van Hoydonk. It just feels too long. Jimmy Garner was okay-ish in the championship, but in the Premier League, we've had no one. The last free kick we scored directly was indirectly scored by Jesse Lingard against Blackburn, and that needed two deflections of the defence for it to go in. So clearly, clearly, this is why he's being brought in. Now, you've got to say that the understanding and the direction and the thought process Behind what we're doing in the recruitment window right now is spot on. We saw issues with corners as in against us. So what do they do? They bring in the tallest man in the world. They bring in Milenkovic, who's really tall. And that instantly addresses the issues with corners, as we saw against Newcastle in the Cup last week, or this week. With Ward-Prowse, we've not had a free kick taker. We've not scored a free kick, as I just said, in forever. So they've addressed it. Now, does he start? I don't think so. You know, for me, he would be... If this was ice hockey and we were the Mighty Ducks, he would be the Fulton Reed of the team. When you suddenly need a goal because there's a dead ball situation, sub him on, sub him off, get the goal, get off the pitch, job done. But look, there's more to him than just free kicks and corners. He's a really good passer. The more I think about it, the more I'm talking myself into it. I just, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I like it as a loan deal. I wouldn't want it as a perm deal. That's the key thing for me. Maybe you guys would. Let me know in the comments down below. So this one's done, subject to formal steps, according to Romano, which just means the paperwork being signed off, getting it in before the deadline this evening. And don't forget, we will have, as always, the traditional transfer deadline live stream. I don't know what time, probably like 8.30, maybe 8. Depends what time it starts to get busy at Forest. So Ward Prowse is done. Let's go and talk about the second Here We Go now. Okay, so Morato is a here we go as well. And this one is completely left field. I had no wind about this one coming through. It's 15 million euros over a five-year deal. So you're looking at amortization of, what, 3 million euros a year, which is chump change. And he's Brazilian. Does it worry you? Maybe a uh, Murillo replacement last minute? I hope not. But again, he has some traits that I really like. He plays left side centre-back predominantly. 
can kind of play left back as well. He's 1.9 meters tall. So what's that? That's about six foot a lot. So again, another tall center back. Forrest thinking about the profile of player they need. What my favorite attribute of him is, is that he's a forward tackler. No, let me explain what I mean there. He kind of meets the tackle. He doesn't wait for the striker to come on him. Not like a backer off. He steps into the tackle. That's probably the right phrase I'm looking for there. Very well built. Very stocky. Kind of is like a tall Murillo in terms of his physique. Not as quick, but overall really, really good defender. Now, at Benfica, he's been playing an okay amount of games. Last season, I think he played 16 games. Overall, he's got about 30-odd games with them. He's one of those ones who've come up through their B team into their A team as well. So, we know, I would say for me, this is probably the Worrell replacement. Because obviously we lost Worrell, so we need one more centre-back. And he's left-footed, and a left-footed centre-back is like gold dust in football today. So this, for me, is actually a good signing. Okay, it's not the big-name signing. It's not that exciting of a signing, but it's good business. He's 23 years old as well, so fits that profile that Forrest are looking to build. So overall, I'm very happy with this one. You could say we've got him, the one we sent out to Olympiacos, already as backups in case anything does happen with Murillo. But I just wonder, will there be any late, late drama with Murillo? I hope not. So this one is pretty much done as well. Documentations are being waited. The waiting now is on the formal documents to be signed. Romano's tweeted it, but Forrest are not done. Okay, so let's give you a striker update on Omar Marmouche from Frankfurt to Forest. And there are mixed reports right now on him. According to Dorset from Sky, he's saying that this deal is still on, but it's at a very sensitive stage. Could or couldn't happen. Apparently, Forrest are putting in a 25 mil bid, and Frankfurt, according to Percy, want more than that, about 28 to 29 mil. And according to Percy, this one is off unless caveat he says things change and Forrest decide to pay so it looks like Forrest may end up with no striker this window unless Omar Marmouche from Frankfurt gets put over the line I still think Forrest have to do this for the sake of a couple of million in amortization terms it's nothing it's pennies just pay the money we're at last minute dot com right now we're at that final drinks calling everything like that and this needs to be done so worrying times right now on the striker however i do have some good news for you in fact i have great news for you and that is matt turner is not a red for the rest of the season rich d enjoy as he is on his way down to crystal palace on a season's long loan. I wish him all the best. I'm sad to see his departure. Matt Turner, best of luck back in London. And that brings you up to date for now. Things are moving, things are changing. You have to be watching these videos as soon as they come out, because within five minutes, it could all change. So if you haven't already, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Forest Fan TV if you are new and we'll see you on the next video come on you reds